the minister stated that the president had directed on banning sports betting and gambling in Uganda, thereby guiding the ministry not to renew licenses for the existing companies and even issuing licenses for new companies. Madam Speaker, betting has, ex has existed in this world, even in developed countries and developing ones. It is an industry that fetches Uganda almost more than 50 billion Ugandan shillings in taxes. We can only guide, we can only set guidelines, Madam Speaker, to guide the way sports betting is done in Uganda. I made the comment that the president, which is true, has directed on the reforms in the sports betting sector as follows. One, he has proposed to us that we should not license new betting and gambling companies. Two, those that are expiring should not be renewed. Three, we look at a mechanism on how we can strengthen and better regulate this sector with a view of looking at different options that include limited number of them, uh, also looking at the locations, the areas where they are operating, because as you speak, Madam Speaker, the sports betting now, all these machines are everywhere. Those were the three points I made, and also looking at the ways whether this limited space that will be given can be done probably by only uh, Ugandan companies, because what happens now, you bet and this money goes, goes out.